Hey guys, it's me Astrid and good news everyone! I think I have my first ever sheath on my Brassavola nodosa cross grandiflora or variety grandiflora. I don't know, but all I can tell you is that I'm a magician who is waving this in the air with my hand right now. Don't see the string. Um, all I can tell you is that Brassavola nodosa is really easy to grow, first off. This is an orchid that I think is native to Mexico and Latin America, and so it's from very hot climates. Now, I do not live in a hot climate. I live along like the 45th parallel, so exactly between the North Pole and the equator. So I'm neither hot nor cold. I'm lukewarm in my climate. And um, because of that, I was worried I wouldn't be able to grow such a um, light needing, warm growing sort of orchid. But I'm having some great success, and you guys have seen my um, orchid update videos about this, but I just wanted to um, pull my camera in a little without kicking everything over around me and talk about this guy. So you can see um, I wrapped this in some bark chips, so there's this mesh from an orange bag, and I wrapped a bunch of bark chips in the middle. And then around those bark chips, I kind of sandwiched it between sphagnum moss and I wrapped the layer of bark chips in sphagnum moss. And then I, um, I sewed the top up and along the top axis where it's sewn, I just have it hanging on a string. Um, I was initially worried that regular sewing thread would be problematic in the long run or wear out, but so far after several months, it has not. And the plant, um, probably before the thread wears out, is definitely going to take over this entire little mount. Now there's a variety of mounts like this called um, kokedama, which in Japanese I think literally means moss ball. And that's what this is, and I'm kind of in love with uh, moss ball mounts actually behind me. You can see my other moss ball mount that I have my dendrobium unicum on, and this is just pure sphagnum moss because that orchid likes a little bit more water. So yeah, um, let's have a look at this orchid. We can do an orchid specific update if I'm not going to be super blurry this whole time. Let me, let me adjust my camera, my friends. Okay, so here we're in focus. We can see that this orchid has actually grown four new growths and with the onset of summer or for whatever reason it put out this new baby growth and this new baby growth right alongside some of these leaves that have already emerged. So this is actually a new growth but it's already putting out another new um, leaf or cane or however you refer correctly to uh, Brassavola type orchids growths. Now these are indeed leaves. Um, they're very thick leaves. They don't bend so easily. They're they're like this. And uh, yeah, I love this orchid. Now, now let's talk about the sheath really quick. That's why you're interested. That's why you clicked on the video because I probably am going to title it that. And um, I'm just admiring these roots though, seriously. And let's have a look see see what we can see. Okay, so I have to find it again. Here we go. So it is right here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on that. Can you see that? Yes! Okay, so do you see this little thing poking out right here? This is most likely a little sheath that the orchid is growing for me and maybe within a month or two this will open up and bloom. This is indeed a summer blooming orchid and I am going to look carefully every single day for more new sheaths like this and I'll try to give you updates on this plant's growth because I think it's exciting to document this. But anyway, that's an update on my Brassavola nodosa variety grandiflora, cross with grandiflora. I honestly don't know from the tag. Um, but yeah, this is an exciting little plant and it's gonna bloom for me soon and it'll be my handiwork. 
Mm, what a good plant. All right, so if you guys like Brassavola nodosa and you live in not that hot of a climate, if you give this plant enough, I'm not speaking parcel time, give this plant enough light and keep it probably indoors, especially in winter time, if you're in a cooler climate, it will probably grow for you. I have some good results, so yeah. Eventually I want this to like cover the whole thing like a sea urchin, but we'll see if that happens. Thanks for watching, happy growing, have a nice day guys, bye.